uh, Andrew here. Um, thought I'd give you a quick video on how to set up this differential thrust. Um, I started trying to sort of type it to you, but it was just getting way too complicated. Um, I tried this for years to get this right. Um, and uh, just through reading so many different forums and what I, I never found anyone who managed to do it this way but um this was the only way I got a really good understanding of it after just sort of playing around with it for a really long time uh and reading up on it um and I established that the only way to get throttle cut to truly work and when I say truly work I mean it cuts it's completely cut even when you touch the rudder um, and the differential's working, the throttle cut applies to the differential as well. I'd manage to set it up all working, but um, if I hit the rudder, one one prop would start just slowly spinning up, um, even when the throttle cut was on. So the only way I could really get this to work is to um, or put all of this on a three-way switch. So I've got my three-way switch here. Um, and I've got I've got it set up um, a bit weirdly actually I've got throttle cut, throttle cut on the front I've got my differential mode in the middle and then I've got just normal mode no differential on the third position mode. which is called normal mode there's no voice for differential unfortunately um, so yeah I think in hindsight what I probably have is throttle cut at the front normal mode in the middle and then differential um, on the back um, I don't really use differential mode that much. Um, it's on a seaplane, so it's mainly for when I'm in water. Um, uh, it's just for ground handling, really. But when I'm in the air, I'm in normal mode pretty much all the time. But look, I'm, I'm sure you'll once once I uh, explain to you how how it's all set up. Um, I think you'll you'll kind of understand um, you know how that how that all works, and you can kind of make that switch or whichever three way switch you want to use um, work the way that you want it. Um, but it has to all be on one switch. You can't have throttle cut somewhere else. Um, it's all got to be on the one switch. Otherwise, that throttle cut won't work on the differential setting um, for your rudder when the rudder spins up the prop. Okay, so. First of all, um, I'll just show you my channel assignment. Um, I because I had this um, set up a bit differently uh, in the beginning, um, which didn't really work. Uh, so I'll just show you my channel assign. I've got um, throttle is my throttle and aux three, sorry, throttle is my left throttle and aux three is my right throttle. So aux three is not assigned to anything in terms of sticks or switches. So just leave that on inhibit um, and then uh, but you uh, I just leave aux three stay with aux three. I, I originally had aux three going to throttle, so both of these were going to throttle. Um, but what was happening was I couldn't get the differential to work properly. So leave throttle on throttle as your left throttle, and aux three on aux three for your for your right throttle. Okay, um, throttle cut. Let's just start with that. Um, uh, throttle cut is just per normal, right? So um, minus one hundred percent. Make sure that's hundred. By the way, don't make don't leave that at one hundred and thirty or whatnot. Um, so, um, and as you can see, uh, position two is a hundred percent. Now, this will only apply to the throttle channel, not to AX three as well. Even though I've got a mix in that puts throttle that applies the same amount of throttle onto AX on onto AX three, it doesn't register the the um the the throttle cut. So, um. Let's get into the mixing. First off, what we've got to do is assign um, the throttle to, to AX3 so that uh, when you uh, go up and down, hang on, I'll put it on normal mode. When you go up and down throttle, you can see that um, both throttle and AX3 are going up and down together. Um, oh, by the way, I should mention I'm on mode two, uh, mode one, sorry. So, um, uh, you might be confused as to why my throttles on the on the wrong stick here, but anyway, that's how I fly. Um, so yeah, so that's so that's the first mix. It just applies um, throttle to AX three. Um, that's a no brainer. The next thing we've got to do is a mix to get that throttle cut working on the AX three channel as well. So that's another mix from throttle to AX three. Um, and what we do is, as you can see, um, it's not uh, active on either normal mode or differential mode, it's only active on throttle cut position. So I'll put that switch in the throttle cut position. Uh, 
cut. as you can see. Um, and what this does is it applies minus 100% um, to, to the throttle. What this effectively does is, because if this was minus 100, that's all very well, um, but as soon as you touch the rudder, that would, um, uh, those value, minus 100 wouldn't be the right amount for a, for a, for a throttle cut. Um, but the thing is, because we've all got it on the one switch, we're effectively turning off the differential mix now as well. So a, minus 100 will be the right amount of throttle cut um, for the AX3 three channel when the other mixers are inactive, which they are on this position in the switch. So as you can see, throttle cut now works on, you know, on both throttle and AX3. And also when I rudder, you can see nothing happens with throttle or AX3 either. So it's a full throttle cut. Um, and that's inactive on middle position and forward position. Um, okay, so next up, we have a rudder to the AX3 channel. So this is the rudder to your uh, right um, uh, throttle. Um, so the way that this works, so it's only active in the middle position, that's differential, the differential mode. So I switch that to differential mode so you can see. So what this means is that when I um, go, go, go right, um, go right, that's going, um, up 12% or down, sorry, down 12% on AX3. And when I go left, that's going um, up 12% on AX3. Now I know that technically one of these values is negative, um, but that's just the kind of way that it works is, um, uh, yeah, so I've got 12 and 12. So that's 12% differential. So basically the way I've got my plane set up is that um, when I go full rudder, um, one motor will speed up an extra 12% and the other motor will slow down 12%. 12, 12, 12%. Um, but this is just to AX3. So um, so yeah, going right, it's, it slows down 12%. Going left, it speeds up 12%. Um, so yeah, uh, applied to the middle position. Going back, same thing, but now to the other throttle, to the left throttle. Um, middle position don't forget obviously um nothing on 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 either of these two um for your differential um and it's exactly the same again only applying to the throttle the throttle channel now minus 12 and minus 12 i know they're both negative now but in actual fact one the way it works is one of these is positive and one of them is negative as you can see if i go left that goes down 12 percent, and if i go right that goes up 12 percent. so that's pretty much it. Um, it's actually really simple when you think about it. It's just your first mix um, applying uh, throttle from uh, from your left throttle to your right throttle. Um, second mix is applying your throttle cut in that, in that first position. And then both of these differential mixes uh, only apply um, to, uh, to the middle position and you have nothing in the, in, in, the, in the forward position. Um, and that's it, mate. I hope, uh, I hope that helps. Um, good luck with everything. Uh, I know this has been a royal pain in the ass for me and I'm sure it has been for you as well, but, uh, hopefully this helps mate. Catch you later.